Good morning, El Dorado, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Annabelle Boyanova. And I'm Paige Mario, and I am so excited to anchor my very first episode of Hawk Talk. Take it from a pro. All you have to do is have swag. Swag? You don't know what swag is? I bet even teachers here know what swag is. I'm Angel Ruiz, and we're here to find out and see if teachers know our slang. Are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Oh, we're talking NASCAR. Yeah, no, D uh, Jeff Gordon, definitely. King Jacob. Who is Snooki and what show is she from? That would be the girl with the poof poof on her head and she's from Jersey Shore. She? I, I thought we were talking about those blankets with sleeves that you get, you know, for watching football games. You see them on TV. Snooki? Um, isn't that like an ice cream sandwich with like fudge in the middle? Kind of like a cookie? Snooki? I think that's what I remember from when I was growing up. Here was with, with Miss Wardwell and we're asking her, what is swag? I think it's either a style or a dance. Oh yeah, that's a kind of lamp. Uh, it's really fashionable back in the day. My mustache. Swag is spelled with two G's. Swag. It's the looks. Confidence. Me. Now it's clear that teachers have a little bit of studying to do. Well, I'm Angel Ruiz. Back to the anchors in the studio. Hey Paige, do you ever feel like you don't quite fit in? All the time. So does Annapola. Who? Annapola, the main character in Odd Duck. Tell me more about that. It extends the prey's life. Your life! Yeah, your lunch smells. Featured entrails bark. Who made this for you? <gasps> Two. One. Is it there a special class for somebody like her? Still the same old freak. What do you got? What disease? Your lung capacity. There is power, even in your limitation. Annabelle? Oh, sorry. You've been so sleepy lately. Yeah, senioritis affects us all. It certainly does. Here's a PSA to help all of you out there deal with this affliction. I'm Jacob Nash, and today I'd like to talk to you about an affliction that is affecting millions campus-wide. It's called senioritis, and you too can help just by doing a little bit of your homework each night, preferably all of it, and reading the required pages of your textbooks. You too can graduate. Please, help these these seniors with, with their sweet little faces. Oh, oh, look at that one. Please, just help them. Help them graduate. Thank you. Well, I feel better already. Well, you know what makes you feel even better? What? We won the bell. Now here's Faith with sports to tell us more. Well, Hoff, looks like the bell is finally home. Football took down the Valencia Tigers 38 to 22, with four touchdowns from Hayden Dunn and one touchdown each from Alex Mendoza and Michael Covelli. Next game is tomorrow against Brayland at home. Girls tennis beat the Canyon Comanche 10 to 8. The ladies' next game is at home against Esperanza. Girls volleyball spiked the Esperanza Aztecs with a score of 3 to 0. Their next game is on October 18th against Esperanza. Ooh, Boyd's water polo just couldn't stay afloat against Canyon. The score was 5 to 19, and they play Esperanza this Tuesday. Eldorado's cross country squad placed first overall at the Dana Hills Invitational last Saturday, leading the way with sophomore Cassidy Counter with a personal best time of 17:48. Other members who helped score the win were Asiria Ramirez, Lauren Cloutier, Kayla Barrios, Victoria Rea, Chandler Smith, and Chloe Reeves. Their next meet is on October 8th at the Central Park Invitational. Girls Golf suffered a tough loss against Brea with a score of 248-204. to They tee off against Villa Park on Wednesday. Good job, Hawks. You guys are awesome. 
Now here are your extra announcements. Attention all Red Cross members. There will be a meeting on Friday in room 208. Come and receive your first service hours and information about upcoming events. Homecoming tickets are now on sale in the finance office. Remember, if you don't want to wait in lines, use the Dance Express envelopes located just outside the office. Put your ID and money inside the envelope and put it inside the silver box attached to the door when you're done. Pick up your ID and receipt the following day. This is a reminder that if you signed up to audition for the fall play, the auditions are today after school. Please arrive at least 10 minutes before your audition time. If you'd like to join our Akami sports team, we will be holding a practice today after school at 3.15 p.m. All potential members must attend. If you'd like to earn some community service hours, 30 students are needed on Saturday, October 15th to help with the Placentia Heritage Parade. Please call Lori Arroyo at 714-524-1747 for details. Remember, today is the last day to turn in CSF applications. Please bring them to room 402 or 704 by 3 p.m. with a copy of your last semester grades with citizenship marks and $4. Remember, homecoming guest passes must be turned in with the purchase of your tickets no later than October 13th. We do not accept any late guest passes. Today's the last chance for you to sign up for your favorite clubs at Club Rush today. Yearbook needs your pictures, pets, jobs, summer, and non-school sports. Send them to edhsyearbook at yahoo.com or come to room 905. Brian Youth Leadership Seminar recognizes one sophomore in a weekend program. To compete for this wonderful opportunity, please pick up an essay in counseling. All essays must be submitted to Ms. Camposano by Friday, October 14th. If you'd like to help at our Holiday Boutique on Saturday, October 22nd and earn community service hours, please see Lupe in the girls' locker room. The Wendy's High School Heisman Award honors both a male and female senior. If you have at least a B average and play a high school sport, apply by October 2nd at wendysheisman.com. Hawks, you might not have heard this, but on Tuesday, there was a protest up at Berkeley University over race-influenced college admissions. Here's former Hawk Talk reporter and current Berkeley student, Simona Boniva, to tell us what went down. Hey, Simona, uh, can you tell us about what happened at UC Berkeley on Tuesday? Yes, the Berkeley College Republicans decided to have a bake sale that would represent the, their opposition to the legislation that's floating around right now. What's this legislature about? It's something like affirmative action where the UCs would consider race and ethnicity and uh, gender into the admissions process. And how does the bake sale relate to this new legislation? Um, it's supposed to represent it in that uh, it's cheaper for minorities to buy baked goods. So Native Americans actually get it for free, and then other racial minorities get it cheaper than Caucasians. Tell us about the counter-protests that uh, occurred in response to the bake sale. Uh, I walked on the campus, and there were just tons of people lying down on the floor dressed in completely black and some of them were holding up signs that said things like, do you see us now? If this legislation is passed, how do you think it's going to affect uh, students here at El Dorado, especially those of us that are seniors that are applying for college right now? Well, I think race and gender are already considered as factors, kind of when they look at you as an applicant holistically. Uh, however, we don't even really know if this legislation is going to be passed, so it's be up in the air. Thanks for taking some time to talk to us, Simona. We'll let you get back to your studies now. Oh, okay, bye. Well, Eldorado, it looks like this is the end of another amazing episode of Hawk Talk. I'm Annabelle Boyanova. And I'm Paige Mariello. Have a great day, Hawks.